you know, there's other guys on that team that are just as dangerous. Tip-off is at 7.30. Rob Beaumont, Win News. North Wollongong Beach will be taken over by soccer players and samba dancers this weekend when the Australian Beach Soccer Cup rolls into town. It is the only regular established tournament in Australia and this year it boasts an international lineup. The Chinese national team has arrived in Australia and is set to take our beaches by storm. We've finished very well in the last couple of tournaments we've been at, so we won the Asia Gold Cup in overtime against UAE. The Chinese are using the Australia Beach Soccer Cup as part of their preparation for next year's Asian Beach Games. They know it'll be two days of fast, tough action at North Wollongong Beach. Well, Australia and Thailand in this tournament make it a very uh, a difficult tournament for us to play against. Uh, Thailand has a lot of speed and skill on the wings. Something the Chinese are confident they can handle. The bulk of the team has been playing together for the past three years since coach Ross Ongaro was lured from his post as coach of the Canadian national team. The people are phenomenal, the food I love um, and the sand is the sand so as long as you have a chance to work with some people for a period of time and you can see results then it's worthwhile, it doesn't matter where you are on the planet. The Beach Soccer Cup started in 2010 with a handful of Illawarra-based sides. Gradually, it's evolved to include teams from interstate and now overseas. All the development of the sport in terms of um, the quality, in terms of the... It is, that's what we want. Preliminary games get underway tomorrow with the final penciled in for Sunday afternoon. Rob Beaumont, Win News.